everybody. And I'd like to read from the, the responsorial psalm, which is Psalm 8. O Lord, how, o Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. You exalt your majesty above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, you have fashioned praise because of your foes. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Teresa. Oh, St. Teresa? I thought it was October 1st. Yes, but her real, October 1st is really St. Therese. But there's another St. Teresa. It's called St. Teresa of Avila, which is in Spain, or also known as St. Teresa of Jesus. She was not a contemporary of St. Therese uh, a couple of centuries before. And she was one who reformed with the religious order called the Carmelites. The St. Teresa, ooh, she had a great head on her shoulder, a great business mind, organization. And the nuns were getting a little bit too easy, loose, you know, because they were, you know, cloistered nuns who dedicate their life to primarily to prayer and spend time in silence and do their ministry, their work. But now they're getting a little chatty and gossiping, just getting loose, and she, re she reformed it. They didn't like being reformed. They rebelled against her, but she stuck to her guns and she reformed it. Anyway, I'd like to share some, one of her sayings. She was a great, great wise woman, and share some of these. She says, be gentle to all and stern with yourself. Hmm. Wow. Never affirm anything unless you are sure it is true. I would say that, especially when people talk about people to you, be careful. Hmm? Don't gossip about other people. It may not even be true. In fact, if it's not helpful, don't say it. Our body has this effect defect. The more it is provided care and comforts, the more needs and desires it finds. So we're saying that, you know, we, we are never satisfied. The more you get, the more you want. So that's why she promoted living a simple lifestyle. You know, doing what you need and then you'll be satisfied. And one of the famous ones is this. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing dismay you. All things are passing. God never changes. Patience attains all that it strives for. He who has God finds he lacks nothing. God alone suffices. We'll leave it at that. Hmm? Let nothing disturb you. Don't be troubled. You say, wait, you see what's going on in the world? You see what's happening? I understand that. Hmm? But you're getting disturbed, and she said, you're getting dismayed. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to correct anything. It's just making you feel lousy. We don't want that. We look to God, not to any individual, not to any political party. And once we have God, we have all that we need. May that be sufficient for all of us. God bless you. All right, my name.